<laughs> I think that's everything. from Montana and look a little crazy because I feel a little crazy. We drove out here from Bozeman. We are in Phillipsburg, Montana for a seven person, including myself, girls trip just for the weekend, Thursday through Sunday. Thursday and Sunday are the travel days. So today and Saturday are, you know, like the actual fun days. There's a little bit of snow coming down. I don't know if you can see it. I haven't had any snow yet this year. So they just moved to Charleston. And when I was like back in Virginia and stuff for the holidays, there wasn't any snow. So this is my first snow of the season. It's gorgeous out here. It feels very vast we rented this like log cabin situation and the ski area that we're going to is called discovery ski this is a little bit of like a different montana trip than you may see like the whole big sky thing it's just seven of us in our log cabin hanging out we got in last night when it was already dark so we weren't able to see any of the property so we were honestly a little bit scared but we moved all of the mattresses into the one loft area i'll give you a tour of like the full house once everyone's up and moving but we moved all the mattresses into the one loft area so that we could have like a girl's room girl's night slumber party thing because at night coming into this place was pitch black we couldn't really get our bearings or see like where things were but obviously now in the daytime it's freaking stunning there's not actually a lot of snow here considering so probably wasn't the best weekend for a ski trip but you can't really plan around those things we did the best we could so we're gonna make the best of the snow that we have look at this place the snow seems like a paid actor should i try and start a fire do we have to clean it out before of like last night's vlogs i don't know maybe i should leave this to someone else I'm quickly gonna pull myself together and then we're gonna make a coffee run because I don't think this will do it I mean this will do it for my first class, but I definitely want some good coffee I made my bed before Bria woke up and then I came up and Bria made her bed And I kind of wonder if I silently pressured her <laughs> into making her bed wardrobe change wearing my fuzzy earmuffs because I said I had to justify the crazy amounts of cute winter accessories that I packed so we're wearing it on the coffee run oh I guess we have to wipe her off Question. Do you sell ice? Bags of ice? And we didn't realize our Airbnb had no ice, so we got like cold coffee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Violet's downstairs making everyone breakfast. I'm upstairs changing into my bathing suit because I think we're gonna go in the hot tub. Maybe not while we eat breakfast, but definitely close after. And I wanted to change out of my pajamas. I think for the sake of a picture, 
Maybe not, but I'm gonna do something fun with this little headband thing. Gotta get used out of the accessories. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I can make it cute. But this black one piece is from Free People. I'm gonna wear it with my moon boots. It's gonna be so freaking cute. I was in need of like a nice black one piece. That's still like fun, you know what I mean? Not like too conservative. And this one, this one fits the bill. I'll link it on probably my LTK. Let me give you a little tour since I haven't done that yet. These two beds were already up here in the loft, but this one wasn't. We carried this one up so we could all sleep up here together. So everyone has their own bed. I'm in that twin in the corner. Bria's right there. I think Kate was right there last night. Viola right there. And then Susie and Vivian. I'm not sure where was where, but we're all sleeping up here. So it's like this cozy little summer camp girls room vibe. There's a workout station in case we want to get a sweat in. And then this overlooks the living area. So that's where these stairs come in. And then this is our big living area. Kitchen is down that way. And then it is literally just like a vast wasteland out there of snow. Oh my gosh. Got some mimosas and we're going to the hot tub. I really only bought these boots for like Instagram pictures, but I'm not gonna lie, I really like them. They're so warm, they're easy to put on. They're big and bulky for traveling, but I actually have no complaints about the functionality. I'm a fan. Oh, I had such a good- Look at the hat, please. I have no idea. This is just There's a man that lives on the Airbnb property that we're staying on that happens to make knives, which is kind of disconcerting in and of itself, <laughs> but- <laughs> Violet bought one of them because she's like all in the food content. Now not only does Violet have a knife, we have a weapon for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Susie's whipping us up a charcuterie board. Good old she kids. Wow, that actually looks really good. I feel like we didn't even get that many ingredients. I know, right? You just have to like overload it yeah. and then just don't think too much about it. Because if you start oh, like dissecting so good. it, Where did we tell. get these pickles? Oh, I got them at the store. Oh. <laughs> Today. I know. You're like, I made them. I made them, yeah. I just pickled some cucumbers real quick. Dude, and these ones are fire. Sweet, and we got, oh, tomato and basil. We got a restock of some Prosecco. We got Party from Vera Wang. Look at how cool this bottle is. I wish I had had that for my pictures. Why <gasps> is this, oh, oh no, cheese down. I don't know if I want to consume that. When was the last time this was cleaned with the uh, little Bissell, Bissell Low Green Hydro Steam? You know, it would be such a funny series. We are making a last minute game time decision. I think my hat's on sideways. Um, we're gonna try and go ice skating. Turns out this town has a population of 800 people. So even though the ski rink says it's open until 10 p.m., we're gonna give them some grace and we're just gonna drive there, see if it's open. If it's not, oh well. But if it is, we're gonna do that tonight. We tried to find somewhere to go tubing or like sledding like at the mountain because I feel like Usually you can find something, some sort of winter, you know, activity like that after the ski slopes close. Sometimes they'll have like a tubing thing, but we didn't have any luck. So we're trying ice skating. If not, we're just gonna come back here and get back in the hot tub, but we're like craving some sort of outdoor activity. We even called snowmobile places and they just couldn't make it happen, which is probably for the better, thinking about how um, coordinated and experienced we are with snowmobiles. So maybe that's on the docket for tomorrow. We did order all of our ski gear to the house because we didn't want to travel with it. and. One of the packages got delayed. So we were supposed to go skiing tomorrow. That's kind of TBD. We're gonna see if there's anywhere where we can rent like snow pants. We all pretty much have like puffers and stuff, but we don't actually have like bibs and snow pants and stuff. So this might actually not be a skiing trip, ski trip vlog. This might just be a cabin in the mountains vlog, but we're making the best out of our situation. All right, keep your eyes peeled for an ice skating rink. <laughs> Joe's restaurant. Wait, that would actually be the perfect place. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, wait, you guys, look at this coffee shop. So what was that shack that we were at? Because that was not this. It was not this. was the place I was talking about. Phil's for coffee. Really? <laughs> like, this is a fire station, but literally when our car reached right there, it said that we were at the ice skating, right? No, you guys, this is like a wreck. Oh, hockey game. game. Okay, I did see we them playing hockey, but there might be some Wait, skating. wait, the hockey. Facebook page that was talking about the hockey game. This is wait, it. There might be free what skating hockey? after the game. What, yeah, we could watch the hockey game. I love hockey. Wow, well, we are you such know, optimists. Do you watch a lot of hockey? <laughs> yes, look, there's a little thing in there. I'm trying to go over there. Super pops. 
Yeah, Bria, you're not from these I think they know you're not from these <laughs> Definitely no skate rentals, <laughs> but this is a little adventure. There's a hockey game going on. We're gonna grab a drink We're gonna learn hockey. I don't know. It's fun. It's just a little adventure. I'm warm I can't complain and we keep seeing people emerge from this area with drinks Never mind, Kiko's didn't have tequila. <laughs> and bison. Do you think they have like a bar menu? <laughs> oh my god, I was just like. Three jacks. That would be bold of me to assume that no one else had two jacks. I'm gonna call BS on that one. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it is. Good morning. Last full day, Saturday. Yesterday, I took a tumble down the stairs, literally right here. It was like boom, 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 multiple stairs. Now, I think I have like a borderline. I did some Googling. This is all through Google. Um, I think I have like a hematoma. Like it's a really bad bruise on my backside. So I am probably going to see if I can upgrade to like Comfort Plus on my flight back just because it kind of hurts to sit. But we're going to go skiing today. We don't have the ski clothes like I mentioned, but we're going to work something out. Violet's family actually is affiliated with like the mountain and the ownership is like in her family. So we're thinking someone either that lives in the area or at the office can hook us up with some ski clothes, um, even if just for the day. So this is my base layer outfit. If you're curious, I rented this little star set from Newly. It's Beach Riot brand, and I'm not sure how warm it's gonna be. Like, it feels fine for now, but obviously, actually being in the cold will be the test. Pretty cute. I like it. I might keep this, honestly. Or at least go on their website and see. I have a black sports bra underneath. Probably zip it up higher, and then I do have a jacket. Thankfully, what happened is we ordered a bunch of stuff from Half Days to come, and the packages got split into two packages because it was six people's ski stuff. So naturally, they had to put that in two boxes, and honestly, like, the odds of both boxes getting here on time no delays was pretty slim in hindsight but i can't find where i put my new half days jacket there's one that someone else got in the same color so i'll show you that but we did get half of the items but unfortunately the items that are missing are pants which maybe pants are easier to find or at least they're the cheaper half of the set but we do have to buy some at the shop so i got this jacket just in a bigger size in the color oat milk i liked that it was a little bit of an off white because if it was a stark white i think stains and marks and stuff would be a little bit more noticeable obviously you'll still see stuff in this but once the stuff does come in i will have a gorgeous full half day set to wear on my trip to breckenridge and there's this i don't even know what this is i usually just wear my little super puff fashion puffers when I have gone skiing, so I don't even know what all this gear is, but I'm excited because I have another ski trip in February, so even though the stuff didn't come in time for this, I'm gonna wear it there and pack it there. I'd be so glad that I have it. We're gonna head out to the mountain soon, but making some breakfast here. I got these cauliflower hash brown situations, so we're gonna make those. Obviously, I have to flip them in 10 minutes. I had some last night as a late night snack, and they were pretty good, and then we'll do probably some smashed avocado on it and some egg. One of my favorite favorite meals is avocado toast because you really only need to have egg, avocado, and some sort of like bread, English muffin thing. So that's three ingredients and most Airbnbs or places that at least have a kitchen would have salt, pepper, and probably a non-stick pan so you could get away with like even not buying butter or oil or something. It's one of my favorite little Airbnb morning things to make because it's very few ingredients. I guess you could get cereal and that's two ingredients, but you know, warm breakfast. Thank you. This is the finished product. I think Bria added hot honey to the avocado, so this is gonna be extra good. Oh gosh. <laughs> I fall down these steps. The 
town is so cute in the day too. I'm. Can I Can I do a small hot latte? But it also is true. I feel like you're going through a big transition. Thank you. Of course. Does everyone have like a little bag thing that they're carrying? Does anyone want like some dishes in there? We're getting suited up. We all happen to find pants. I got these in like the gift shop and then Violet and Bria were able to borrow some. So we're all covered. I actually really like my pants. All right, check in. I'm doing good. Yeah, you are doing really good. Yeah. I've been falling. I feel like my ACLs are about to give out, but. Because they do get so tangled. <laughs> this jacket is so sick though because there's like a tether. Mm. So I have like my phone and my camera that I'm recording with right now on this little like leash tether thing. So obviously I'm still being careful, but I'm not too worried about it. This cookie is incredible. Is it top good? top three cookies I've ever had. Too. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, we're breaking off in groups, going up. We were told this was a green. We're not sure this is a green. <laughs> Look how big it is. It's, oh, we're stopping. Someone must have fallen off. But Bria and Susie are somewhere back there. And Violet and Vivian are all the way up there. You can see Vivian's red coat. If you really zoom, wow, we are bumping. Whew, I swapped out my skis for shorter ones because I was definitely like crossing them. I don't have that much control over them. I feel like I like shorter ones, but then again, I don't really know what I like. I think we're gonna try and do like two or three more runs and then we're gonna go home because we kind of got out here late. I wish in hindsight that we had been like a little bit more urgent, but I feel like that's what always happens. Holy crap, this looks so steep. As suspected, this was not a green. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's probably a blue. It's probably not that intense, but I had to go down on my own. I could not <laughs> wait for people, because if I fall, I like want to get up on my own. I don't want people waiting for me, so I sped ahead. You can't see me, but I'm doing quotes. I sped ahead, because I wasn't going very fast, but now I'm waiting for the rest of the people. I think this closes soon, but this is so fun. It says the girl that can't ski. These aren't even my goggles. I don't like wearing goggles. I feel like goggles mess with my periphery, periphery vision, and I don't like wearing them. I'd rather, I'm not even blinded by the snow. I guess if it was super sunny, I would be, but I'd rather not use them. If you can see the camera, that's so funny. Bria is killing it. I don't think you're gonna be able to see her because she's so small. Oh wait, no, I think you can. She's in the pink right there. She's zooming down. There's two people in front of her. Well, now I think there's four people. Wait, that's Kate. Okay, they're coming. These kids are smoking us left and right. They're doing good now. No, they're killing it. I'm freaking down to go check on my daughter, but everybody is gonna make it. Okay. <laughs> We're almost okay. There. Go, Bria! Oh, God, Look, a professional skier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there's Kate. Okay, Kate's right there. We're on the home stretch, girl. We were not okay. Back home now after a very long day. Changing into my bathing suit because we're going to go in the hot tub one last time. I think the earliest flight is actually me and Bria. We're on the same flight because she's flying to Chicago and that's her final destination. But I'm flying to Chicago and then from Chicago I'll fly to Charleston. So we're on like the same first flight. But all that to say is our flight is the earliest. So that's at 1230 I think. So we need to be out of here early. I think like 9. Kate wants to leave at eight. I think we're gonna leave closer to nine. I only packed this one bathing suit, but it's just this like high thigh black one piece from Free People. I might go home and order it in more colors. So freaking flattering, but still a little like, you know, youthful, if you know what I mean. Like it was like a cheeky bath, but I only packed this one. So I'm gonna change into this and go out to the hot tub. I'm gonna be honest, like I wish I had packed wellness formula, that like pill that I take whenever I start to feel a little sick. Cause I'm feeling something. Like, I think this week is gonna be a chill week because I think I'm getting sick. This is insane. Like, you, you saw it, right? Like, 
oh my last God, you sunrise in Montana. Honestly, our only sunrise. We didn't really see a sunrise the past two days. We're stopping for coffee on the way to the airport because we have a two hour drive from Phillipsburg where we're staying to Bozeman where we're flying out of. I do think there was technically a closer airport but it was more expensive in like the flight times and everything for six people all flying from different areas to coordinate arriving at the same time was really difficult because of the like availability at that airport so we chose Bozeman and that's where we drop off the Turo rental car. I don't know if we showed the car but it's a Ford Expedition so it's like the Ford version of a Suburban so we fit pretty well in it. I would say if we had seven people we would have been screwed because we are using like the extra middle back seat for cargo i think this was plenty big enough for a group of six and violet just did a price breakdown of the whole trip like what the lift tickets were what well i guess flights would vary based on web like where you're flying from but the lift tickets the house that we stayed in the car and like broke everything down because i do think this is one of the more affordable ski areas that you could do because i've talked about this before but i didn't really grow up skiing so like buying your equipment and like kind of getting into the hobby and not even knowing if you're gonna like it first is like a huge expense at first so this is like a really good place to come for like a more secluded like there obviously wasn't like a huge like downtown nightlife like ski town vibe here but like the cabin if you're with a big group of people um with the hot tub and like the views and everything and you just want to come and ski and try your hand at it and stuff this was like a great place to come i we were talking about coming back here um in march i don't know if that's gonna happen but that would be fun i'll put violet's instagram handle on the screen because she's doing like a highlight that'll have like all of the links to the house and everything in case you want to stay exactly where we stayed or you want to kind of break down the price of the trip she just posted like an entire breakdown of what everything cost so Pause it if you want to see.